Well, there you can see the young Fabio Reyes, 23-year-old fighter from Portugal, 174 centimeters tall, fighting at a weight of 69 kilograms. His record, 43 fights, 32 wins, 11 losses. This is his first time here at Thai Fight. He'll be fighting the roller coaster by X and Oi. The new nickname's gonna stick, I guess. <laughs> there you can see the man who Adam was just talking about, Pai X Mui, Luk Chao Porong Tom, 20 years old, from Krabi in Thailand, 174 centimeters tall, 108 fights with 85 victories, 19 losses and four draws. A former Thai fight champion of 2018 at 72.5 kilograms. Well, if you're watching at home, don't forget to join our selfie competition. Take a picture of yourself. I think that's how it works. Cool one, take a cool one, post it on TIE Fight's Facebook page, and you could win uh, a selfie stick? What Signed is photo what is of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. Now take a selfie of yourself watching TIE Fight in the background. Uh, is, is, it, is that a requirement? That's the requirement, yes. Okay. Can it be a TikTok video? Well, yeah. It, that, what's that? It's like a, you do a little eight-second dance that is amazing. Do they have a mind Changes space as the well? World. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, the good news is the Thai MCs are disqualified from entering this competition, so there is a chance for everybody else out there to win. There you go. All right. Round Ru one. Second fight of the evening. I should mention as well that all fighters were tested for COVID previous to, uh, previous to the fights at the medical center all passed, of course. And like I said in the previous fight, if you can knock your opponent out via a spinning back kick, you will win 100,000 baht, thanks to our sponsors over at Chang. Reyes has got some serious legs on him. Yeah, he's a big boy. Not a bad record as well. 43 fights with 32 victories. Swing and a miss there from Pai Xamui. Good outside fight kick there from the Portuguese fighter. Looking to snap that jab. Good right hand there from Pai Xamui. Pai Xamui, in his last time out here at Thai Fight, won via decision. A very, very close fight, though. It was a great fight, fight of the night. Good uppercut there from Rias. Looking for the high kick from Pai Xamui. Blocks it there, moves in with the left elbow. Very aggressive from Pai X. Again, Reese trying to concentrate on the right leg of Pai Xamui. Yeah, he's putting in work. That will help him later in this fight if he makes it there. Looking for an uppercut again. Pai Xamui covering up well that time. But again, easily taking it to the outside leg there of Pai Xamui. Nice combination from Reese. Left kick, sorry, left hook followed by a right low kick. And he's really working those legs. Swinging and searching for that left hook out of it. Here comes Pike's move again. Right hand, right elbow. Oh, solid body kick there from the tight fighter. Reese looking for an up kick. There's that left hook attempt. Solly kicks to the body from Pai Xamui. Oh, wow. Might have been the best strike of the fight. It was landed outside the ring. The Another nice right kick to the body from Pai And then a nice low kick from Reyes. But I do feel like if you're going to be trading kicks to the leg for kicks to the body, it's not a and again. trade that Reyes is going to win. That time he fakes and goes high. Nice Good body shot as well. Really even fight so far out of Pikes Mui. Not finding that rhythm. Well, Reyes has been really busy. Yes. In the first round. Very busy. There goes Pikes Mui though. He's dangerous. End of round one.
nice overhand right that nearly connected clean for Reyes. But really, the highlight of that round was just the work. You now you can see some of it that Reyes was putting in on Payaksimui's legs. Just multiple low kicks thrown to the inside, to the outside, to the lead leg, to the rear leg. He really did the whole package. You called it a very close round, Aaron. Would you feel comfortable giving that first round to Reyes? Yeah, I would. Like you said, very close. Difficult to pick a winner. Yeah, Payak did land some really nice right kicks to the body, but I think he was just uh, outgunned by the volume of Reyes in that first round. Good combination again from the Portuguese. It's not just about one shot. Even there, it's looking to the body, then going up to the top. Oh, but he got caught with that time. Good and right I was hand just from about Payak. To say that's a stylistic difference, isn't it? Payak is the one-shot wonder. Right. Whereas Reyes seems really good at throwing combinations. Reyes again, Reyes again, looking to go to the back leg there of Payak Samui. They've even covered it in Vaseline. Must be damaged. Yeah, really impressed with the output of Reyes. Yeah, His combinations are doing so much good work for him, but you know, we've seen it from Payak before, Aaron. One shot sometimes is all it takes, especially when you've got those rubbed hands. It really has been non-stop from Reyes. He has to give time, has to give Pike to really time to settle and to pick that one shot that we've seen him throw and connect so many times and knock his opponents out with. And that's what Payak might need in a fight like this. Oh, and that leg out of He's in trouble. He's going to blame it on the, the water there. But he's taking a lot of damage to those legs. Oh, and again, that almost buckled him. Moving in for that elbow shot. And even when he does move in for shots, Reyes is still going to the leg and covering up enough that Pike Samui cannot connect with that. Oh, a nice left hand. You're starting to see some damage in the face of Pike Samui as well. Yeah, but it's all about that back leg out of... He might still be hurt from the uh, the, the previous fight that Pike Samui had a couple of months ago. Yeah, if we recall that fight, Aaron, he was getting a lot of leg kicks Indeed. and wasn't checking them. Yep. We were kind of calling them to come out of them in the first couple of rounds. He wasn't checking those kicks. Oh, good knee there from Pike Samui. Trying to back up Reese, get him against those ropes. He's starting to block those kicks at last. But again, all output from Reese. Yeah, I wonder if that's something that Reyes looked at before this fight. Took a look at that last fight from Payak Samui and realized that he doesn't check low kicks and decided to use that as his strategy in this fight. Good solid knee there from Payak Samui. He's finding, it, finding a hole for that left knee. Almost connects with that right elbow. And if in doubt, throw that low kick. Oh, look at Payak with that knee. Almost connects. Yeah, great dexterity might have there. Just, yeah, might have just grazed the nostrils of the Portuguese fighter. Woof, end of round two. Well, we start the highlight reel off with a beautiful right hand by Hayek Samui. Might have been his best strike of the round. Because again, it was Reyes with that buffet of low kicks. Just yep. working the legs of Payak Samui. Uh, he actually blocked that, that knee strike. I thought he actually connected. That was the one. He actually ended up hitting himself <laughs> on that one as well. I really think this third round, Aaron, is going to be up to conditioning and attrition. Can Reyes keep up the output that he's done so far in the first two rounds? How affected is Payak Samui by all the damage he's taken to his legs in those first two rounds? I feel like Reyes is up oh, to nothing. Great knee from Reyes, and then moves in with an elbow. But Payak Samui is very good at blocking, very good at dipping low, and covering up. He's good at winning close fights as well. <laughs> <laughs> just going to say, if Reyes wants to win this fight, <laughs> he's going to have to make it super clear. Body shot there from Pike Smoot. Oh, spinning back kick Going attempt for there. that money. Yeah, why not? Pinkman. Pike Smoot, look for that elbow. Good blocking there from Reese again. 
Yeah, he needs a fight-changing strike. That's what he's known for, and that's what he's looking for. Again, Reese blocking up well. The Rams spot such a smart fight. You hear the grunting of Pike's Louis. Well, he's looking tired for the first time out of his Rams. Pike's Louis in more, much more of a groove right now. Oh, he caught him there. He's catching him, but I don't think he has any power left. He's just going through the motions right now, whereas Pike's Louis is actually connecting with some stronger shots. He's throwing, he's connecting, but it's not doing any damage. Pikes and he has a chance right here. Good body shot there for Pikes and I think that's a good tax, why not? Go to the body. He's tired already, he could sap all the air out of him with one good body shot. Yeah, also just grabbing a hold of him, closing that range. Reyes hasn't really shown the ability to land any good strikes in the clinch. Most of his work has been from the outside, the low kicks. Payak's not letting him keep that range, he's just closing in on him. Oh, good elbow there from Reese. Another good knee to the body from Payak Samiri. Reese is exhausted, he's looking to his corner for help. But Payak Samiri not moving forward. I think he was looking at you, Eric. <laughs> Get in there and help the man. That shot from Reese, but a nice body kick from Payak Samui. It's been a very resilient round for Payak Samui. After all the damage he took to his legs in the first two rounds, his third round was the strongest round yet. I don't know, I still have Reese winning the first two rounds there, but it would not surprise me if Payak Samui squeaks out another victory. Well, let's find out. นะครับนะโอ้โหแม้ยังรวดแต่ก็สู้ถึงยก3เป็นไงครับคู่2มันไหมครับทุกคนโอ้โหมันแตกไปในแค่คู่2มาเพียสมุยนี่ก็แก้เกมไม่ดีเข้าวงเล็กสองเล็กอันแนนเป็นยังไงหดอยู่ในมือผมแล้วนะครับจะประกาศแล้วนะครับ The Finner ผู้ชนะได้แก่เธอพยักสมุยลูกจะพอร้องต้องพร้อมใช้เลยชนะนะครับเป็นกำลังใจกับผู้ที่บ้านไปด้วย